Yo, what's good people? Long time, no see. So, decluttering. This is a, a very niche subject, but I, I'm, I'm really loving this, really loving this. I've noticed um, that when I, my approach to cleaning was just to clean around the house, clean around the room, um, just cleaning things and putting them into place, tidying things. But one thing that was deep down in my subconscious I was avoiding was decluttering, which is getting rid of things that I don't need anymore, like properly decluttering. And I'm, I'm seeing that it's, it's actually giving me a boost of energy. I'm beginning to see, um, very strangely, I'm beginning to see things at work, like clearing up, messes, like physical messes at work, clearing up, things getting tidied. So where I work, um, there's a lab and there's a lot, like the engineers are so messy. They have so much stuff. They've just left their the machines they're not using, things they're not using, equipment. And in the last two weeks since I've been properly decluttering, I've noticed at work that the spaces are being completely clear, like cleared. And um, I'm noticing that people are just clearing stuff up. There's less stuff on the benches and things are just everywhere I look in the rooms when I walk around it, it's just, just, everything's just looking neater. And I just find it really strange, you know, like, why is this happening? And I think that, um, I think that it's, it's almost like the outside world is an extension of you. And if you clear up, then the outside world begins to clear up as well. It's, it's very bizarre. So, The things that you're clearing up are things, they're kind of a representation of your emotions and feelings about the world that you've been bundling up for years. So if you find yourself clearing up, you're going to find, I theorize you're going to find your emotions clearing up. All these negative beliefs and thoughts that you had in the past about yourself, you're going to find those things clearing up as well. And, um, yeah, I've been clearing up so much shit that I've kept for like 10 years plus, like the extent of it, like, so I have this, I have this box, okay? It's got documents, it's got files and folders inside it. I've been clearing that up and um, it's been getting lighter and lighter and lighter. I've been filling up bags, like I've got, I've got a bag here full of documents. I'm gonna throw away at work. And it's just old things like old banking documents, like from 10 years ago, that I don't need anymore. Freaking schoolwork, old college work. That's a big one, man. Journals. I think people hang on to all these things because they want to have um, kind of proof themselves that they worked hard and did, you know, that they were smart at one time. But, you know, all your emotions when you're hanging on to the past, if you can't let go of the past, you can't grab the future. And that's what I'm finding, is a feeling of lightness coming, a feeling of just possibilities. And that's what I think the power of decluttering is. You're getting, especially things like documents, you know, you're going through documents, clothes, things like clothes are easy. You can just, like, I don't really keep many, like too many clothes that I don't need. I either put them into charity, or give them to my mom so she can donate to someone else. But things like documents, this is my, this is the biggest burden for me. It's the one thing that I need to declutter properly. I've got a lot to get through there. It's probably gonna weigh half as much as that. But old documents, receipts, things I don't need anymore like that. And lastly, digital, digital receipts, digital documents, things that you don't need. Like for me, I had a lot of past exam papers on my, on my um, files, Google Drive, from like 10 years ago, 12 years ago even. Oh, what, hold on, hold on. 2009. Yes, like 10 years ago. It's ridiculous. I don't need that stuff anymore. And even like the emotions, the times, the, the stress I went through during those times, you know, it's bundled into holding that material. So when I let it go, like when I deleted it, you know, deleted all that stuff. I, 
I started to feel a bit, a bit positive, but I believe that in the next few weeks, the positivity is going to be even more because of my, my subconscious knows that I've completely moved on from the past. So this is the last bastion of my cleaning, my decluttering, you know, documents, and digital documents and emails. And let's see what happens. But I, I encourage you guys to do the same thing. It's one of those things that would lead to a kind of an abundance that you never realize you had. You know, it's, it's a feeling that you're going to feel like you're completely free because you can let go of the past. Now you can let go of the past and grab the future uh, subconsciously. That's it, guys. Peace.